If you want money, we'll collect enough money for you so that you'll be the richest one of us. If you want leadership, we'll take you as our leader and never decide on any matter without your approval. Or, if you want the kingdom, we'll crown you king over us. If you want a wife, we would lead you to the most beautiful woman. What would you answer if all this was offered to you? But the Prophet Muhammad refused all this. If you wanted money, women or power, by the call to Islam, why hadn't he accepted these tempting offers while he was at the beginning of the call? He would have garnered all this without any risk or difficulty. Why did he insist on the call to Allah and delivering the message of Islam to all servants of Almighty Allah? Then, Islam is a divine message that's worth exerting the efforts and bearing hardships. Let me freely speak love to those who never knew who Muhammad was. Peace be upon him, the praised one, the truthful, the seal of the prophets. Bought us out of darkness when life was the darkest, when daughters were buried by their own fathers. Regardless, this message is not for the heartless, followed by billions since the day it was started. So how can you stop it when well, many have tried? Innocence of Muslims, many have died. Those were innocent Muslims. Over a million dead in Iraq, innocent Muslims. Children that never sinned, lives you took them. Collateral damage. Claiming you're making peace, all you're causing is havoc. What Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam accomplished can never be done by anyone. Even if they tried their whole life and their hate can never insult light. A messenger, a husband, a leader, a preacher, a speaker, a warrior, a teacher, completing and teaching the best of characters, forgiveness and patience, kindness, no fear to the blame of the blamers Muhammad the praise one his name is most famous Mentioned on a daily by a fifth of the world's population His honor is decreed by the creator not the creation So you can never change it with all your hate statements Your hate and your insults reflect who you are Because to Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam You can do no harm Insulting the messenger, victories to come Cause even the worst of us love him More than our parents, our daughters and sons The mercy to mankind, guidance to worshipping the one We condemn violence and evil And those who provoke it from all walks Whether by Muslims or not Whether by governments or all sorts we can't condemn one side and to the other turn a blind eye. So how can I act like I never saw that innocent man die? Or the drones that took the life of that innocent child and no one asked why. When it was a princess, magazines got sued. When it is a prophet of 1.6 billion people, freedom of speech, dude. I call it hypocrisy. We only believe truth.